Hi everyone, so this is the next video in the series how to create upvotes and downvotes for uh, in the application. Uh, the first video was about upvotes and downvotes for users and you can see it here and the next video um, I was preparing the functionality to create upvotes and downvotes functionality for posts, not for users, but for something separate. It could be not just posts, it could be, for example, products or uh, whatever entries uh, in other collection. So uh, I have posts here and uh, I have a, a screen showing the post uh, with uh, of user. And what I'd like to do is to create the uh, possibility to add the upvote or downvote for each of the posts. So uh, I'm not going to use the uh, votes collection because um, it was used for uh, the previous version of upvotes and downvotes. I'm going to create a new one. Uh, let's call it uh, votes P. So uh, the structure will be the same. So it will be name, uh, vote value, type, uh, and two relationships. So let me start. It will be name ID as usual to store the unique ID of the vote. Uh, then it will be value and numeric property. Uh, then it will be a text property of vote type. It will be up vote, down vote, or up down vote. And then I need two relationships here. Uh, so the first relationship will be the, with the voter, so it will be a relationship with users. And as you understand, the user can have multiple votes. Uh, and I will call it voter. And uh, the uh, another relationship will be the relationship with posts collection. So uh, as you understand, a post can have multiple votes. and uh, each vote can belong only to one one post. So again, this is the relationship with post. Uh, this is the uh, post lists post list. So let me start creating upvote and downvote functionality here. Uh, I will uh, save some time and copy this list of votes. Uh, later on, I will modify it, of course, uh, and move it here. I will reset up it uh, a bit later, as I said. Uh, but the functionality here will be uh, a bit different. Uh, just to remind you, before uh, here, uh, the way uh, this upvoting and uh, doubt downvoting uh, works is before going to a view profile screen, I always create a vote, not always, but only when a vote does not exist for the uh, current user. So as you can see, current user vote count uh, with the uh, voter email uh, is e equal to logged in user is equal to zero. And uh, here I uh, adjust existing record in the collection. Uh, it's not possible to do this with the uh, post setup like I set it up here because when you go to post collection, it will be a list of posts. So there are no votes created uh, in advance. So what I need to do uh, in addition to this list of uh, votes, which I will be using for uh, changing the value of the existing vote, I need to create something, uh, some functionality to add a new vote. To so uh, let me start doing this. Uh, first, uh, in order to make it look nice, I will add a rectangle. Uh, it will be a container for these icons, upvotes and downvotes, so that it will look nice. Uh, and inside I'm going to add uh, three icons as before. So it will be this will be upvote icon this will be up down 
thumbs up and down and this will be download icon okay all these icons are gray because there are no uh, vote has been created so uh, then I need to uh, make group out of these four elements and this group will be let me call it no vote group uh, so uh, this group will be visible only if current post doesn't have any votes from logged in user uh, so let me change visibility it will be sometimes visible only if current post votes count where voter email the person who voted equal to logged in user email and where when this number of votes is of the voter email uh, is equal to zero so this group will be visible otherwise it will not be visible so uh, then uh, let's add the functionality here so with the thumbs up i will uh, create a new vote b so name will be again something like user mail for uh, current post name id so uh, here as this is thumbs up value will be one type will be up voter will be logged in user and post will be current post so again the same with the uh, thumbs up down create new votes p uh, name id current logged in user email bash for post name value will be zero type will be up down voter is logged in user post is current post and uh, uh, down vote will be again create record same logic here for current post value minus one type down voter logged in user and current post uh, okay so to make it look nice i will uh, make the rectangle background uh, I'll turn it off in fact uh, let's set up let me set up the uh, list so uh, this will be another list it will be a list of not uh, votes it will be a list of votes p and uh, I, of course I need to filter out this list it's not a all votes p but it will be current post uh, votes p uh, voter uh, let me check how to do it better because maybe uh, so it's no to be on the safe side let's filter it by email so it will be current post votes p where voter email is equal to logged in user email so here we explicitly uh, said that I need to display only votes uh, for current post where and the votes with the voter email which is equal to logged in user email so I can be sure that there will be only one vote as you understand because uh, after creating the first vote uh, this uh, group will disappear and this list will appear so and then uh, I need to uh, set up this uh, visibility I uh, this is set up everything for the visibility and for the icons so this will be uh, again current vote p type is not equal to up uh, and I need to update current vote p So uh, if I press and type will be up, I don't need to change voter, value will be one. So, and this one is visible only if current vote P type 
is equal to up and uh, I don't need any action here. So same logic here, this visible if current vote B type is not equal to up down and I update a current vote B to value zero and type up down. And this one will be visible if current vote B type is equal to up down and no action here. And finally uh, down vote, this will be current vote B type is not equal to down. Uh, update vote B change value to minus one and type to down. And this one should be visible only if current vote B type is equal to down. Okay, so uh, this is it for setting up the uh, votes functionality uh, for posts. Uh, let's copy also the total mark uh, so that we can see the total Uh, total, I don't know, mark or uh, rating of the post. Let's call it rating. And this rating uh, will be a sum instead of current using votes, vote value sum. So it will be current post, votes, value sum. So we sum up all the uh, votes, uh, all the uh, all the uh, rating uh, for the, uh, the votes, the variable is called uh, values, all the values of the votes uh, for uh, to form the final rating. So let's test how it works. So uh, as you noticed, I have changed the icons a little bit. Uh, so these are for the posts, these are for the uh, profile, and this is to edit my uh, profile. So there was a demo user one who had two posts. So as you can see, there are no votes here. So when I press thumbs up, you see that rating appears. You see that everything changes as expected. So for example, let me leave this one to one and this one to minus one. So uh, let's check if it works for several users. So let me log out uh, and log in as a say demo user two. So let's see the post of this demo user. As you can see, no votes has been, all, all icons agree, so no vote has been created. So let me, for example, add a new vote here, rating will change. And uh, let me add, a, for example, no new vote here. Uh, also, as, as you can see, rating uh, changes. Uh, you need to play a little bit with the icon layout to uh, make them look, uh, to make them stay at the same uh, place. Uh, it may take some time, so uh, uh, usually it requires some uh, creativity, but uh, it's totally possible to, uh, to do it. Uh, I mean, if I do it in this video, it can take uh, well several minutes to find the uh, right place. Uh, so let's look at the database. As you can see, there are four records here. So uh, the two users uh, with uh, for each post, and as you can see, the posts are uh, different here. So uh, uh, just as an advice, as you understand, uh, this uh, list will load the uh, list of posts. And also, if there are already votes, uh, if you have already voted for the post, it will load, uh, for each post, it will load the list of uh, votes. So. Uh, if you will not uh, introduce some kind of a filtering or will not, uh, for example, set up uh, 
lazy load so load items only the first several items and then load next items when user scrolls uh, with big number of posts it's uh, it could become quite uh, slow so I'd, i suggest doing this and also uh, of course in order to uh, make it work really fast uh, you can use the approach uh, which i used in the uh, profile voting when uh, I uh, allow a person, uh, a user, to vote only on the separate page. So instead of voting right behind the, on in the post list, you need to click on the post and then uh, on the individual post page you can leave a vote. But still, uh, for uh, relatively small, like 20, 30, 50 number of items on a single screen, it works. Uh, I hope, uh, well, this, that's it. I hope this video was useful. Uh, thank you and uh, see you soon.